Hi everyone, welcome back to Singapore Maths Academy. Um, this is our second bar modeling question that we're going through. And it states here, Mary and Adam each had the same amount of money at first. Mary spent £14 and gave half her remainder to Adam. As a result, the ratio of Mary's money to Adam's money became 3 to 14. How much did Mary have at first? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through this problem using the um, well-renowned Singapore Maths bar modelling method. Um, and in this case, I'm going to use something called a before and after um, situation or, or before and after model. Um, and basically, I'm going to draw two sections, one for before anything happened and one for something uh, that's after something has happened, something that will make uh, a change to the bars. So if I start off with the before um, and start here, so before bar, and I've got one for Mary, and I've got one for Adam. And this before bar is going to look something like this for both Mary and Adam. And you can see that they're kind of equal. It would be more accurate if I used um, uh, another tool. But it's not possible in this program. So firstly, Mary spent £14. So I'm going to kind of represent... 14 pounds. I don't know what 14 pounds would look like. It might be more a bigger proportion of the bar. I want to just say that's 14 pounds. Okay. And then she um, gave away half her remainder. So this is what's remaining. And so half her remainder is going to be around about there. It's half her remainder. And she gave that away. So after she spent 14 pounds and gave away a certain amount, then the bars would look different for both of these people. So Mary will have around about that much. And Adam will have the same amount as previously, um, as he previously had, but plus another, not about that much, half uh, of the remainder from Mary. And then it says here the ratio will become 3 to 14. So this will represent 3 units. And this all of this will represent 14 units. Don't forget that these 3 units also appear in Adam's slot here. And there would have been another 3 more here. Um, so that's 3 units. That's half. That's also 3 units. And that, because that was half of the remainder, that means that must also be 3 units. And therefore this is also 3 units. This 14 pounds, this section that represents 14 pounds, which is here, would actually be here as well. So that's 14 pounds. That hasn't changed. So that would have been the whole amount that Adam had previously, uh, and so did Mary. But then Mary decided to spend 14 pounds and then give half her remainder away. The half of the remainder that she gave away, which was here, that's gone there. So that's three units. That would have also been three units. And so this is three units. So therefore, for Adam's case here, he's got three units, plus three units, plus another three units, nine units, plus the 14 pounds. So he's got nine units, plus 14 pounds. After something happened. So therefore... These 9 units and 14 plus 14 pounds is equal to 14 units altogether. So therefore the 14 pounds must be worth 5 units. So this must be 5 units. 5 units. So 14 pounds, so 5 units is equal to 14 pounds. So 1 unit must be 14 pounds divided by 5. And therefore, one unit is two pounds and eighty p. The question is, how much did Mary have at first? Mary has or had three units plus three units, six units plus fourteen pounds, and therefore six times two pound eighty plus fourteen pounds, so means sixteen pounds eighty plus fourteen.